a mission, and that mission is, in this season of my life, and my walk with God, is to be a better steward of the things that God gives me. So currently, I'm going through my entire house. I am cleaning, decluttering, organizing. So today, we are focusing on the kitchen. There's so much that I want to get done in here, so we're probably not going to get it all done in this video, especially not the appliances. But I want to go through the cabinets. I want to move some stuff around, wipe it down. This underneath the sink is a disaster. As I've been decluttering other areas, I've shoved stuff under there, so that needs to be dealt with. I want to clean the windows, clean the blinds, clean the floors, so we'll just see what all we can get done. We're going to take it just a little bit at a time, you know, and just to get it done. But if you're looking for some cleaning motivation, then you have come to the right place. Hey, before we jump into it, I have been just soaking up Peter. Man, I have... I've been loving Peter, really been speaking to me. So in chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So if you humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you. And exalt means to lift up, and he will do that in due time. And so it says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So, you know, praying and telling God about our situation and allowing him to, you know, love us and to lead us and to guide us and to help us grow because all of this stuff that we go through, it is not, you know, just in vain. It's all for a purpose, for a greater good. God cares about our character. He cares about who we are. He cares more about, you know, that than anything else because our character is what we're going to be taking to heaven with us. So he's preparing us for um, his kingdom. And so that's where I'm at in my life right now. I don't understand. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So I am humbled under the mighty hand of God. I don't understand all that's going on, but I know that in due time, because the word of God says it, that he's going to lift me up and I'm going to cast all my care on him because he cares for me. So what more could you ask for to have a better friend and a father than that? But let's go ahead and jump into it because we've got a lot to do. There are two things that I like to do before I start cleaning, and one of those is to get a great scent going in here. I'm a Scentsy and Wax Melt lover, and the scent that I'm going to go with today is going to be this pumpkin spice. I don't care what season it is, this is what I like to smell. The second thing is, is we've got to get some music going. What's funny is when I was a child, my grandmother would be listening to gospel music on the television, whether that be Gaither or whatever. And I used to think, Ugh, you know, oh, Mama, can we not just listen to something else? But it's funny how I got older and I absolutely love to listen to gospel music. But I personally, I like, you know, all kinds of gospel music. I like contemporary music, you know, as long as, you know, their heart is turned toward God and they're singing about him. Not every song has to necessarily be the gospel, although that is beneficial. But there are songs that distract chords and turn your heart toward God and see that's what he's ultimately looking at is the intent of our heart and music just helps you do that you know so I love to listen to music especially when you're home alone like I am today you can just turn it up and you can just get down if you want to because nobody's looking it's just you and God um, I love to clean I, I have always liked to do physical work. It just, um, it motivates me. It strikes a chord in me. It puts me on a mission and just focusing on cleaning, you know, all of the little details. This needs to be done, I'd say, about every six months. I do it twice a year. Sometimes before that, you know, you do your maintenance clean on a week weekly basis. If you see something spilled or something like that, obviously, you know, you're going to clean that up. Look how dirty our water is already. Time to dump this and get some more. That means we are getting rid of dirt and grime. 
Do you ever think about what heaven is going to be like? Do you think there's going to be cleaners in heaven? You know, there's those people that absolutely despise cleaning. They hate it with a passion and they do not like to do it. But then there's people that absolutely love it and they find so much joy uh, in serving God by serving others and it just excites them and they own their own businesses and they do it with a grateful heart to be a good wife, a good homemaker, a good mother, and they're just really excited about it. So in heaven, I think that everybody has a purpose. I feel like, you know, there are going to be so many different jobs. There's going to be cleaners for the people that really just enjoy cleaning. And there's going to be people that are going to do the music, you know, that just really love to do the music. I believe it is going to be the most amazing choir Oh, that our hearts and our minds could even comprehend that's going to be, you know, in heaven. And then I believe there's going to be door greeters. Um, just like, you know, the lady that works at Walmart. When you go out and you have an item that's not bagged, uh, you have to show her your receipt at Walmart. And I don't think every Walmart does this, but we have one in this area that does. And I believe there is going to be that precious lady right there at the gates of heaven and she is going to be one of the door greeters oh man she is very special you know i seen on facebook the other day somebody did a post and they were really complaining and um asking why that they had to show the receipt and i went through and i read the comments because it got a great response and some of the people would say, well, I don't stop, you know, I just keep on going, you know, and I'm not going to stop and all of this other stuff. And apparently it's a really big deal and it makes people angry. But, you know, just try to think about it from uh, an internal perspective and, uh, you know, think about it that like we want to honor God and it's never okay to not be kind. And, you know, we went and we've shopped in this store and this is, you know, the thing that they're asking us to do. If we don't have something that's in a bag, they've got somebody getting paid to stand up front. We show them the receipt. Hey, I paid for it and move on with our life. You know, I, I think it's pride when it says, oh, I don't want to, you know, somebody to look at me like I'm a thief, you know, and I don't want to be treated that way. You know, pride will cause us some great damage. It'll cause us to stumble. And uh, First Peter says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So like we said in the beginning, let's just humble ourselves under God, you know, and just be kind. And I'm not telling you to conform and be a robot, but, you know, just use the word of God as your guide for life, you know, and, um, Anyways, let's uh, get all of these drawers cleaned out. I'm going to get this other side um, cleaned out as well. You're going to see how much stuff that I've shoved under there. But let's play a little bit of music and then I'll check back in with you. at my worst It's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by all you have done I cannot explain the depth of your love Limits can't contain the heart of you God I'm amazed at the
home for the Febreze is going to be this top drawer. I don't keep anything in it. And then I keep all of my wax melts in this one. So I think that will be a good spot for the Febreze. I decided to relocate my hand soaps into the spare bathroom. So I'm just going to put it there because paper towels will go here um, whenever I get some because we are currently out. But that is going to be the new home for the hand soap. Our church has a prayer line and the pastor swapped this called and in her voice she was so sad just so heartbroken but she called with an unspoken request and uh i definitely stopped and just prayed because god knows the situation but it just hurts my heart i don't know what's going on but god does but um Anyways, there's definitely going to be a part two to this. What I'm going to finish today is wash the blinds, the window, and clean the countertops and all of this really good. And then we will be done with this section. But let's go ahead and uh, yeah, finish it up. you're putting in all your hopes and efforts are all in vain who will pick you up when you've lost everything does it all become for granted with a wedding
So there we have it. We are completely done with this section of our deep cleaning kitchen videos. So next, I don't know if we're going to go this way toward the kitchen table or if we will go this way, but we still have a lot more to deep clean and go through. You'll have to check back for part two of the deep cleaning kitchen videos. Uh, I'm done for today. I'm pooped and my back says uh, no more girl. So anyways, thank you for watching to the end. Uh, I really appreciate your love and support. I love you. You keep fighting that good fight of faith and I will see you in the next one.